In this episode, I revisit an old Filament Friday where I created a Jimmy DeRest inspired push stick while well, I resized it on my larger CR10 Mini and customized it for my father in law. I'll show you all the steps on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. Jimmy DeResta in his recent video blog talked about his push stick that he created many years ago and he's actually bringing it back. I actually took that design a long time ago and made my own on my DaVinci 1.0 and he featured it in his blog which was really awesome. Well I was already starting to look at this for the CR10 I wanted to make a custom one for my father-in-law. So because I have a CR10 Mini with a 300 millimeter wide I could now build a bigger one than I could before because 8 inches was the biggest I had before and now I've got like a 12 inch bed. So I brought the original design in and I made it larger and then I went to work in Tinkercad to modify it. Now the first thing I did is get rid of the DeResta, not to disrespect Jimmy but I want to make one for my father-in-law with his name on it. So I adjusted a few things, took out a piece that I didn't need for his name and here's the base that I'm going to work from and actually I'm going to save this. This will be on chepclub.com for anybody that wants to file. Then I turned it 90 degrees, at least so the base was flat, not completely 90. And then I brought in a text tool and spelled out my father-in-law's last name, which is Brockway. Then I adjusted through the text tool the bevel and the size and made this thing so it would look decent and fit on the space that I had here. Now I'm actually going to do this in two color. So I changed it to yellow so it's easier to see and then I just changed that to a hole because it's going to take away material but I lifted it up three millimeters and I did that because the back of this thing is going to be three millimeters tall and white and then a different color on top so the letters for B-R-O-C-K-W-A-Y will shine through as white so I sized it again positioned it on the bed everything looked good and then this thing was ready to export and so I exported as a .stl file and brought it into Simplify 3D. Now here I'm going to do two processes on my CR10 Mini. I'm doing a 50% fill, three top and bottom layers, three perimeter shells. These are pretty standard temperatures I'm using, but here's the key. I'm going to tell it to stop printing after three millimeters. That's the first process. And this is what it'll look like. So then I have to do a second process. So I added a process, all the same settings. All I did was say start printing at three millimeters. And so what I'll do is I'll change colors and print the second one. And when I slice this one here's what it looks like you can see the letters are cut out Brockway will shine through and it's also lifted off the bed so I save those as separate files so it's Brockway 1 and Brockway 2 so I chose Brockway 1 and I've got white filament loaded up and here it is printing on the CR10 mini this thing does a great job notice how smooth it is how level I've got the bed level so once that was done then I went back changed the filament and chose Brockway 2 now I've got a blue filament in now both of these are the matter hackers MH new filament that I'm trying out and it printed really well and here's the finished look and it just popped right off the bed I did use a little glue but it came out great and you can see the Brockway just shines through he's gonna love this so what is a push stick if you're not familiar with it let me show you we'll test it on my own table saw and we'll cut a piece of wood in half and here's what a push stick does for you it saves your fingers so you got a small piece of wood like this and you want to cut it in half this push stick is really thin so it fits between the fence and the blade and I can push it through without my fingers getting near the blade so that's what this is for does a great job he's gonna love it If you like this project, maybe check out some of these videos that are popping up. And if you want to know more about the projects, join us at ChepClub.com. I put a lot more information up there and some behind-the-scenes stuff. If nothing else, click on that Chep logo that's popping up and subscribe. That way you don't miss an episode. And that's it. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.